Petros nitong uh, Petron Base were able to get down low get fouled and move that basketball as well they had 8 assists in that second quarter they really punished Barangay Ginebra 34 to 17 in that second quarter let's hear from Risa Diaz kung anong uh, nakuha niyang kwento mula dyan sa mga dugout tong halftime Charlie mula muna sa Petron ang philosophy is stop and share magsisimula nga daw lahat sa depensa they have to give that extra effort they have to sacrifice and make stops when they do and the ball is in their hands abay doon naman kailangan daw mag share everybody gets a touch of the ball para mas maganda ang kanilang opensa ang warning ng coach G eh, we have to weather the storm they're expecting Barangay Ginebra to come really strong lalong laro na kapag pinagsasabay nga ng LA Inorio at si Josh Orbistondo samantala sa panic ng Barangay Ginebra abay hindi na napigilan ni coach Al Francis Chu ang kanyang damdamit ang sinabi niya talaga sa kanyang mga manlalaro yung tinatamad pwede nang umuwi nagkakahawahan daw kasi at ang kailangan nilang gawin come second half they just have to bring that energy and they should be fine Charlie? Well sa dalawang uh, first offensive dito Barangay Ginebra they got nothing and June Mar Fajardo got one basket already para sa Petron Blaze. Loose ball. Scuffle for the ball. And Tubid and Barakael. You can see some color developing between these two players. The ball stays with the blue shirts. Coach Gia Banila opting to start again with Ronald Tubid. He does not want the energy to go down. Because he expects Barangay Never to come out a blazing dito sa ating uh, third quarter. He's telling them, you know, there will be a storm. We have to weather it. That's why they have to keep that energy up there. Coach Al Francis naman sinasabi, yung tinatamad, pwede nang umuwi because, you know, one of the things that is so easy to spread more than sickness, yung tinatamad kasi yung mga bagay na roo. And you know, one thing for Barangay Hinebra, they are down now without Mark Nagiwa. The level, somebody will have to step up, hit, hit a couple of big shots just to get the crowd going to get the entire Barangay Hinebra going. Well, ikaw na rin nakapuna kanina, Dom, nung first half, there were two plays, na nakaagaw itong Petron plays, and the player who stole the ball just walked all the way to the basket for an easy two. Malaman lang humahabol na white shirt. So yun siguro, ang tinutukoy ni uh, Coach Al Francis Chua uh, sa mga boys niya nung halftime. At itong si Elijah Millsap continues, partner, not to force any outside shots. He keeps driving to the basket and drawing fouls and trying to go to the line. Ito, the pass inside. Pangalawang ano yung pass na yan ni Millsap towards Fajardo. And Fajardo scoring here early in the third quarter, establishing that preference inside. Yun yung ginagawa ni Lohan kayina. Ngayon, Fajardo naman on this side. Elijah Millsap with that eight assist. You know, you talk about an import that also thinks team Elijah Millsap. A classic example of that. Ellis was out of control. He was able to pass it to Tenorio. The lob doesn't go. And to si Tubid. Snares that rebound. Kabag not looking ahead. Pinasa rito kay Arwin. Jam! Barangay Hinebra is not careful. Petron Blaze will break this game even more wide open. 21 na lamang ng Petron. 9.28 remaining in the third quarter. Urbistondo, hirap na hirap makadaan dun sa defense ni Kabagnot. Kabagnot is forced into a foul on that sideline. Meyer Hofer pinasok. Ito yung a while ago. Santos for the jam. That's a Photon Thunder Drive brought to you by Photon. Empower your business. Tenori. Tight defense from Tubid. Nakabanggaan yung dalawang mama. And Tubid is called for the personal. Patron Blaze. You know, we have 9 minutes and 19 left dito sa ating third quarter. So basically, wala pang tatlong minuto. Tatlo na ang assist ng Petron. They're sharing the ball. Kung kaya naman, ang ganda na mga resulta. What a drive! Bula rito kay L.A. Tenorio. Naging pamilya na rin tayo sa mga drive na ganyan, especially nung FIBA Asia Championships. Driving against bigger guys. Maliliit yung kalaban niya ngayon. Kung kung pa naman sa FIBA Asia, L.A. Tenorio is really carrying even the Zagilas Pilipinas team. Kung yung mga katulad ni Haddad ay dinadrive ang nila nila Jason Bakos. Sanay na, sanay na sila dyan. Pero sumagot naman agad ang blue shirts, partner. And that's the thing. Kailangan pigilin. Sabi nga ni Riza kanina, ang report was to stop. Di ba? Stop first on one end before sharing on the other end. Para kayo, jumper from outside. It's short. Rebound for Hardo. Up ahead of the back was Arwin Santos. Hindi nakita ni Jumar. Almost another fast break for the Petron Blaze Boosters. But Millsap has been a stabilizer in this game. Wala yung tira niya, but who's there to pick it up? And put it back in June Mar Fajardo. Labing pitong puntos na si June Mar sa darong ito. 47 points lang para sa hinip. Meyerhofer, he'll get a chance. 
Para sa three point play But Jude Mar Fajardo is the story so far Dito sa ating third quarter well, Aside from Jude Mar Fajardo You have to credit the entire Petron Base Boosters One of the things that was mentioned in the Sports 5 Center And we mentioned it too Baka nangangalawang itong Petron Blaze Boosters Yes, nakita natin there were signs Dun sa opensa But the defense spot on Ano nga nangyari doon eh Although nga naghang around the first quarter Itong Barangay Hinebra And uh, things went a bit sour Nung uh, second quarter Right now 25 point lead And the pass inside was off target Pero May bailout doon Because Fajardo was holding Dior Lohorn And he's called for a foul That's a fourth personal foul Of Junmar Fajardo Ito alam natin, di ba kanina, si Kramer nakatatlong foul agad. Tapos si Fajardo had three as well. So that's his fourth foul, Fajardo. And we see Kramer at the official stable to check in. Lohorn, they're giving him a hard time, but he still hits that basket. And it's been a long time since Dior Lohorn was able to extricate and score a basket inside. Well, now they're going to him exclusively down low. You know, kung kanina, they were setting him up off those plays or off those pick and roll. So let's see how effective it will be against the bigger Patron Blaze. Natabik ang bola, Mario Hoffer, those long arms But he punched the ball, sabi ng ating referee That's a violation You can't use your fist to hit that ball So ball will stay dito sa Petron Blaze As Fajardo will rest, pasok na si Doug Kramer For the Barangay and Aberdeen Kings They need to give themselves something to cheer about Meaning a big play, a couple of plays, impact plays Doug Kramer in the lane Drops it over to Arwin Santos The short jumper Bounces several times Bago Pumato Sino Yan ang tanong eh. Sino para kay Coach Ato Agustin Ang magdadala rito Sa second half Try to get some points On the board LA Tenorio Grabe yung bantay sa kanya well, Aside from the scoring They'll need to also Fix it up on defense That's short Tenorio Pinahihirapan talaga Ronald Tubid Stepping on that sideline. The ball will go back dito sa Barangay Hinebra. Tenorio, nakikita natin yung frustration. See his reactions after that play. But they get a chance once again at the 6.50 mark dito sa ating third quarter. We talked about Petron Blaze Boosters being a total team effort. Look at the local scoring. 55 points as compared to only 32 para sa Barangay Hinebra. Barakael's three. Ayan, pumasok. Impress the uh, Mac Barakael. And you know, you gotta start a long journey with a single step. Tingnan natin ko yun na yun. But the next step is to be able to stop the offense of Petron. Millsap loses the ball. There you go. Yun na nga. The stop was taken. It hit the back support. So ito na. Barangay Hinebra. Let's see what happens. Meyerhofer on the run. And that layup. Looked like a gimme, pero wala yun. Let's see what Lohorn can do. Hard foul. Mula kay Arwin Santos. So, they'll uh, try Dior Lohorn from the free throw line once again, Dom. Yung nangyari kanina kay Chris Lutz, nangyari rin dito kay Rico Meyerhofer. Yung nagulat sila, na libre libre sila. They couldn't decide whether to lay it up or dunk that basketball. Pasok yung unang free throw ni Dior Lohorn. And he's been having a difficult time inside. Ito may report si Riza Diaf tukol dito kay Dior Lohon. Charlie Dior has been complaining na masakit ang kanyang likod. Ang sabi ng Barangay Hinebra coaching staff, it is no excuse dahil baka wala ng bukas para makabawi pa siya. Ang sabi nga nila, this time calls for everybody to rise above any pain or any occasion. Charlie? Well, that's true. I mean, you know, unless kaya nga sinabi ni Coach Alfrax, kung tinatamad kayo, huwag na lang kayo maglaro. Uh, do or die nga ito eh. The only reason for you not to play is if you're on a stretcher. Diba? Parang ganun yung ibig sabihin itong uh, Barangay in Everton Kings coaching staff. And that's one way to motivate your team. You're gonna suck it up in a game like this. Alam mo, uh, there's lots of talk about yung mga naunang uh, laro. As we'll see, assistant coach uh, Todd Purvis called for a technical foul for continuous complaining sa ating mga referees. Yun ang baka hapon, nag-umpisa ang ating quarterfinal round. The first game was Miralco contra sa Paraco. And uh, well, Baraco got left behind in the second half. Nice run in the fourth to cut it to single digits. But Meralco moved on to the semifinals. And a lot of people were saying, parang uh, hindi do or die ang pagkalaro ng Baraco sa larong yun. And uh, you know, itong Barangay Hinebra, right now, they're trying to turn it on. But uh, Petron has just been overpowering. The Barangay Hinebra wants to do what the Alaska Aces did 
you know, stay alive for another day. Tenorio for three. Short yon at nakuha ni Mills up yung rebound. And you can feel it. Once Barangay Ginebra is given that opportunity, yung crowd nandiyan eh. Kaya sila pumunta dito because they want to cheer for their team. Mills up, this is off once again. Arwin Santos Bintis on layup. Gets it back with release. Wala. Barakel. Finally, Tenorio gets it and bounces it off Arwin Santos' leg. Smart play, mula kay LA. Lohorn, he's at the post once again. The short shot bounces in. Parin kay Joel Lohorn. And then follow up pala ni Rico Meyerhofer after the ball was about to come off the rim. And a blink of an eye, it's a 17. Facial wash. Ronald Tubid handing the ball para sa Petron Blaze they go over to Millsap sa kaliwa Tenorio nakabantay sa kanya what a huge high advantage turn around jumper def and go oh and Sky for that rebound but he loses it nakawa ng Maragay Hinebra they're on a run it was a 25 point lead para sa Petron 17 na lang over ng 15 LA Tenorio to the basket talk about a big heart LA Tenorio now with 12 points at dito sa ating third quarter walo na yan Millsap not trying to rush things no panic mode para sa Petron Kabaknot challenges Lohorn hits the side of the board ito na naman ang white search Urbi stand on the run hinawa ko na ni Kabaknot no call but Akael kicks it to Josh Josh is three bakbakan sa rebound Kramer saves it to Kabaknot Millsap is running on the other end he'll challenge the smaller defender Foul, sabi ng ating referee, balik sa Barangay Hinebra ang bola. Good ploy by Barangay Hinebra on putting L.A. Tenorio on Elijah Millsap. Because now Millsap is trying to look for his shots and he hasn't been successful. Kaya mo yung drive a while ago. Tenorio challenging Doug Kramer. Di ba magkakampi dati yan? Tenorio just holding his ground. Talk about a guy with a big heart and with a lot of spunk in him to go against Elijah Millsap. Millsap now with his eighth turnover. So doing it on offense and on defense. Sacrificing his body to si L.A. Tenorio. Takes that three. Pass off the ball! L.A. Tenorio! They've been waiting. They've been waiting for this guy to explode. Itong Barangay Ginebra fans in the house. They've been wanting to cheer for Barangay Ginebra. Nakaagaw pa si Tenorio. But he loses it right back to Arwin Santos, who falls over. The lead pass goes to Tenorio. He'll lay it in all by himself. Five straight points clustered together, partner. Shampoo na lang ang labang ng Tenorio. Garun garun lang, L.A. Tenorio. And look at him, just really giving it his all. Tenorio a while ago. Barangay Nebra on a 17-2 run. Alam mo, kontrolado, kontrolado na ng Tenorio a while ago yung laro. Pero 17-2 run. It wasn't just L.A. Tenorio. Maraming tumulong dun sa run na yun. Millsap. To Chico Lonete. He'll take a three. Pasok yan. Papatay sunog. Para dito sa Petron Place. Chico Lonete hitting the three. Look at that run of Barangay Ginebra. Kung, titig, kung hindi mo nakikita yung score, takala mo, four points na lang ilamang nitong Petron. But now still up by 13. But making some headway here in the third quarter. Very good sign for the Jin Kings. For the second time on the Ginawag. 25 point lead ito just a while ago at 72 to 47. And all of a sudden, that run mula rito sa Barangay Hinebra and it's a manageable 13 point lead, Doms. Yan ang ating mga ulalang mahal ng masa fans of the day mula sa masarap, malaman, mura at convenient kasi easy to open ulalang, ready to eat ulam para sa masa, mahal ng masa, ulalang, 15 pesos lang. Petron forced Barangay Hinebra into turnovers in the second quarter. In the third quarter, total turnaround. And dito naman, nakakalimang turnover ng Petron Blaze. Itong Barangay Hinebra scoring 10 points. Puch Puyat, naka-light blue na polo doon. Alam naman natin, eh, ano yan eh, sa bilyaran yan, si Mr. Puch Puyat. Of course, uh, Commissioner Attorney, Chito Salud, together with Willie, Willie Marshall, ang ating media bureau chief dito sa PBA, watching the action. The pass inside to Lohorn. Lohorn will challenge the defense. 
block on the pop from Santos but on the second try he gets it and yun yung sinasabi natin medyo nawala yung effort na yan a while ago for Barangay Hiner but they found that fire again Don well they just needed somebody to start that fire and all of a sudden Barangay Hinebra has come to life though there's still 11 points nandyan na po ang Barangay Hinebra Lasseter swatted away by Meyerhofer he slips we'll be stunned to meet an entry that's the fireball. Josh Urbistonda. Just an eight point lead para sa Petron. A minute and 50 remaining here in the third quarter. Hit up the head up to Chico Lanete. Millsap on the drive. He'll go up. Dira na kaangat. Hawak hawak. Ni Rico Meyer Hofer. So babalik sa linya si Elijah Millsap. The energy in the room has changed Elijah Melsap 15 out of 15 from the free throw line make that 16 out of 16 Tinan mo itong dalawa nagkukonsultahan Coach Ato Coach Al trying to come up with something more mintis ang pangalawang free throw pinuna mo kasi napansin mo pala kasi na perfect siya ayun 9 point lead for Petro and a minute and 33 remaining dito sa ating third quarter will be stopped a hesitation move kick to helter brand and Lanete grabbed that rebound eto ang Petro si Doug Kramer nanguna na doon hindi nabigay sa kanya finally nabigay he goes up four foul Barakael Doug will go to the line para for the lowang free throw sa tagang nagaantay si Kramer doon we also like the composure that the Petro and Blaze boosters are showing with this big run by the Barangay Hinebra Gin Kings Doug hit the first free throw. Josh Urbis Tondo, inubuo muna ni Coach Ato. Chris Ellis is in the ball game. Helter Brand as well. He hits both ito si Doug Kramer. The lead is back to double digits, 80 to 69. One stood at 25. Delta Brown may tangan ng bola para sa Gin Kings. Ten seconds shot clock. They go to Tenorio. Down to Lohorn. Lohorn wants the challenge. The double coming from Lanete. Ellis starts to keep it alive. Lafiter picks it up. Siya nagdala ng bola up ahead to Lanete. He'll stop and drop from three. Pasok yan! Chico Lanete. Two three-pointers in this crucial run that Hinebra was doing. Balik sa labing apat ang lamang ng Petron. Tenorio. He'll take that three, wants to get it back. That's short. Rebound, Doug Kramer. Slowly but surely, Petron Blaze restoring the order in this basketball game for themselves. Steadying the ship. Ito si Arwin Santos, the jumper. Short yan, rebound play, tapik palabas, Dior Lohorn, ball will stay. Dito sa Petron Blaze Boofters. Labas muna si Arwin Santos, Chris Lutz comes into the ball game. He'll inbound the ball para sa Petron, nakuha ni Chico lang yata, and they're guarding him tightly dahil nakadalawang tres na yung si Chico. Last second shot time for Petron Blaze here in quarter number three. Susubukan din ang protektahan ng kanilang uh, labing apat na puntos na lamang. Lassiter, dribbling display, takes the three. Doesn't hit it on the rebound. Lohorn gets it. Tenorio from three-quarters court. Hits the board. And L.A. Tenorio showing signs of life. At uh, yun na nga, kung uh, nakahawaan ng uh, laziness kanina.